Hi, and welcome to another tutorial with Mr. Petromo. This one is a really quick one on how to export your Wii video once you have your file done. So I'm going to actually take one of my tutorial lessons that I have completed and show you how to export it. So when you have your final edit done and you've um, clipped all the little parts out that you need to and everything is done, you are going to click the Finish button up in the top right. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. I'm going to click that Finish button. And that is going to pop up some easy little options. Um, SD is standard uh, display. And you'll probably just want to leave your resolution as SD. If you change it to HD, your quality is going to be better, but it is going to take a lot longer to export, a lot longer to upload to Google Classroom, I mean to Google Drive, and a lot longer to post to YouTube later on. So I've never really had any issues with SD being a problem, so I just leave mine as ST, SD. Now you have three options here. Um, the OneDrive, if you're a OneDrive user, you can put it there. Um, I love my Google Drive export, so that's where I'm going. And YouTube. Now I use YouTube too, but I find it so much easier to throw it into my Google Drive first. It just makes it work so much faster. <clears throat> and I have a hard copy in my Google Drive that I can file and keep away forever as a backup. So I'm just going to hit that export button. And it's going to throw my video in the queue, and it's going to tell me approximately how long it's going to take. But you will find this counter clicks down a little bit faster than, than um, what this does. Now, if it's a long video, it will take a long time in the queue. And you will get a, an email notification when it's done. That's the nice thing about Wii Video. So you can just hit that export and then leave it alone. Go do something else. Go grade papers. Go clean up the puke that's on the floor of your classroom. Go do whatever else that you need to do. And when and just keep an half an eye on your email notifications. And when it pops up, come back and grab your video. Fast forward and our, um, our queue is over and our export is done. So once we get that email, there's my email. Your Wii Video export has succeeded. I'm going to go back to my drive and I'm just going to refresh it. And right on my quick access, the first file is going to be my video. Now, you can leave it here in your Google Drive, or what I like to do is right-click it and download it to my computer. This may seem clunky, but it is actually uh, my preferred method of getting my videos onto YouTube and publishing them. So open up a YouTube create my video and go to upload video, upload video. And then I'll be able to select that file from my hard drive, how to add audio narration to Google slide. And then you just have a few little settings. I have all of mine in my tutorials playlist, so you can set your play playlists um, as you like. Um, I like to say mine's about kids because it skips uh, certain ads and it doesn't um, ask me more questions and it's uh, just an easier setting for me. If you're not if you're not making this for kids, then you can change your settings there. Um, hit the next button. I always skip n number two options and leave those alone. And then the visibility. Here you can set it to public, unlisted, or private. I always go with unlisted. That way they can't be searched for and they are posted in my channel. Right here is your link to your YouTube video and you can copy it right there and then finish it up by hitting that save button. So there you go, there's another tutorial by Mr. Petromo and thank you, I'll see you next time.